Episode 3 of Tres. The Gregorian Chat. We have made it through the first two, and now with you, we're bringing the third episode. Three, that's Couldn't right. Couldn't go any more than that. You can't go any more than that. So what are we talking about today, Dom? Today, we are talking bod mods. We're talking about tattoos, piercings, and smoking. Three issues which are commonly, you know, in Christian circles, associated with evil, yeah. or at least rebellion. Yeah. Today uh, we're going to bring you a Catholic perspective on these three things. Or at least our Catholic perspective. That is a very good point, because we do not just bring everyone's perspective, although it would be nice if everyone thought like us. Yeah, because I mean, it might be boring as well. Though. But, for now, what are we drinking today, Dom? Today we're drinking Go Go Goa tea. I'm not actually from Goa, no. What? Uh, it's not. It's uh, It's inspired by Goa. But not actually from Goa. That's what, uh, that's what the lady in teaching Go said. away. Go away. Huh. Go on with yourself. Uh, but yeah. It smells good though. Yes. I'd, uh, I'd go a long way to get it. Hey. So yeah, the lady in Tutu was very gracious and gave us these. Uh, yeah. In case you didn't know, we recently picked up a sponsorship uh, kind of thing from uh, the tea connoisseurs T2. That's right. Like the lanes. Mm. Um, oh, what are we getting from this one? It's, oh, it's kind of smelling nice, eh? Hey? It's kind of like a chai. It is a chai. It, it is, is a chai. chai. Wow. Hundred percent chai. Go. Now, there's a reason I got a chai nope. because today's a bit of a celebration for me as well. Oh yes. Because uh, I've potentially handed in for the last time a form yep. to immigration New Zealand. And that's something that you've just been trying and trying to get trying, for I've been a long my best. time. I've been trying my best. And, uh, Let me try your best. It actually sounds just like yeah, cold what they'd be saying there. Anyway, um, so yeah, and the reason I got a chai tea is because I thought, you know what? After handing in my uh, form and my passport, oh, yeah. can't leave the country now, to Immigration New Zealand, I thought I smelled some cookies and I was like, I'm buying some. So when I went to T2, I was like, what goes well with a cookie? And the guy behind the counter was like, go, go, go. No messing around. And then the, all the people in T2 all agreed on that. Really? There's three people there behind the counter, and it's like, yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, that's what I know. Well, thank you for that unity in, in your yeah. store. I mean, that actually speaks a lot to the unity that we look for here at Chaplaincy, but also in the Catholic Church in general. The universal church. That's right. That's what Catholic means, if you didn't know. Yeah. Oh, fun fact for you. Um, so we just had another long weekend. Um, mm-hmm. It was a long one, indeed. I, I, yeah, f- I feel tired now. Almost. Yeah. What did I, you do? I did. I did. Tried my best to do as little because the weekend before we climbed two mountains. Mm-hmm. So this weekend we, uh, I had a meeting, for uh, a side ministry we do called Encounter. Mm. Look that. Look that up. Encounter NZ on Facebook. Bit of plugging there. Uh, and then so we had a meeting for that and planned out the whole year. The whole year. The whole year's plan. Entirety. The entirety. Everything except the music. Anyway, Ooh. and then uh, and then hung out in Pukeko with the in-laws, and then on, on the Monday, we just uh, cleaned the house and went for a swim at the beach. Can't this beat is it. great. Can't beat it. Nope. It's illegal. No. Uh, so, yeah, I went to Waiheke for the second weekend in a row. Why? Uh, brother-in-law's... Yeah, I mean, why not Hickey? It's, like, just amazing. It's sunny. There's... Um, we went to this beach that you can only access by boat. Oh. Um, but, you know, it's just so good to be able to get a bit of sun, get a bit of a tan going. Speaking of tans, you know, when you're out on the beach, you see a few people with, with tattoos and whatnot. Oh, there you go. I uh, saw some pretty pretty ridiculous tattoos out there, to be honest. I think I saw one guy who had cheese tattooed on his arm. Oh, right. Um and you know you see people with with circles or you see people even with like scripture verses verses mm, verses verses on their arms. Sean O'Connor. Um, yeah, but it got me thinking. Right. Why don't we do a podcast on like tattoos? Was where I started from. But mm-hmm. thinking tattoos is one of those things that as Christians we often shun and we think, well, yes. You know? Well, I mean, you do see a lot of it still. Um, I have to say, I I enjoy 
looking at tattoos. If someone's got a tattoo, mm. I, I, I'm always interested to see what they've got on them and the, on their uh, arms or whatever it is. And uh, but I did see this one guy the other day uh, when I was at Rangi Toto, and he was this Irish fella, as white as paper, and like almost see through. And then he had this whole sleeve of like um, kind of Mario and all the Mario characters and stuff and like that, and Nintendo and all those characters. Wow. And then it was like green. And I was like, I bet that looks really cool. Like when you, he's got a shirt on, but he was at the beach. Oh, there's my alarm. When he's at the beach. He was at the yeah, beach. Yeah, yeah. He was at the beach swimming. So like he just got a pasty white chest and then whole green arm. And it's like, that just looks a bit weird. And it's really cool, but again, it's like when you when you're in your sixties and seventies and you've got Nintendo yeah. characters on your arm, you're like, mm. well, it just looked like gangrene. <laughs> yeah, and you'd never know if you actually got that because it would just be maybe smelly. Anyway, yeah. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, then you do get these really beautiful um, tattoos, which are like a piece of work, you know, a piece of artwork. Mm. You know, and it's. Uh, I mean, there's a there's a guy who's been coming to the cathedral who has a, a tattoo of his wife on the back of his head. No, it's a very interesting thing. <laughs> Some very interesting things. I was thinking, if I was going to get a tattoo, it would be something like the scripture verse that sits in St. Patrick's Cathedral above the uh, the opposite door his to the wife. door of mercy. <laughs> on the back of his head. <laughs> yeah. He's got, pic- he's got two faces on his head. Well, I, I figured. He's two-faced. Yeah, he's two-faced. Um, it's not just his wife, though. <laughs> it's like a picture of a dartboard and I think the Eiffel Tower. I, I can't remember. But, on his head. Oh, there must be a story behind it. But my theory was that if this guy is ever like <laughs> in a bad way and is lost, maybe like horrendously drunk, <laughs> then <laughs> people <laughs> people be like, "Who do we get you to?" The yeah, like, tell her. This this woman, find her, <laughs> find her, and then you know you just put him in front of you, of you, and then you just lead him around, looking around. Right there, you, you go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, enough making fun of fellow parishioners. <laughs> Um. <laughs> tattoos. <laughs> uh. If I was going to get a tattoo, mm. uh, it would be um, something like the Bible verse that sits in the mattress. I've lost it. It says, right. it says um, God forbid that I, that I glory in anything save the cross of Jesus Christ. Okay. So that would be like, I was thinking, maybe I can yeah, get that yeah. on my arm. Yeah. You know? mm. And like, I think I've always thought the same. Like, if I got a. A tattoo would be something of like uh, Our Lady of Guadalupe or like uh, a devotional thing. You right? Yeah. Still thinking. Yeah, right. So it's still like, because uh, oh. I've seen some really cool tattoos of like Our Lady of Guadalupe. I know a guy who got a tattoo of uh, Jesus on his calf muscle, Jesus on the cross. And it's mm-hmm. like, and it's things that would keep you centered. And so, like, in that sense, you know, it's no, in a sense, it's no different to me, again, wearing my medallion or um, of me. Um, Wearing a scapula, mm. you know, it's, it's a devotional thing uh, that I choose to do um, to keep me focused on Christ. Mm. Um, but I have heard people that are kind of uh, scared off by it. Mm. It's like it's a bad idea. Mm-hmm. Um, they say you don't know um, what you're dealing with when it comes to people like creativity and stuff. Sometimes it's got like a spiritual element to it. And if there's like a nasty person, then they might be putting something nasty into you. I don't know. It's very vague mm. and I guess kind of subjective in sense. Um, but I don't know what... Does the Catholic Church teach anything on it? As far as I know, the Catholic Church doesn't actually say you can't get tattoos. And as far as piercings and smoking goes, I'm pretty sure it doesn't say anything. But I thought, what does the Bible say on it? So I did a bit of research... Or research, as we say here. Leviticus 19, verses 29 says... No, don't look that up. Leviticus 19, verses 28 says... Do not cut your bodies for the dead or put tattoo marks on yourself. I am the Lord. Well, that's what it says. But then again, it is Leviticus. 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 Um, And this is... Yeah, exactly. So this got me thinking, well... If this is an... uh, I mean, some Christians were put for the argument. It says in the Bible not to do it. Then again, this is in the Jewish law. Mm. And the Jewish law contains a lot of stuff that we don't adhere to now. You know, like certain rules about whatever. Circumcision, for instance. Like, we, as Christians, we don't have to be circumcised to be saved. Mm. To receive salvation. But, um, so, I mean, 
and this doesn't mean to say that because you know anything that was in the Jewish law is now void. But it got me thinking there must be something underlying this law. Yes. If the Jews were you know put it into hmm. the law, because yeah, they were the chosen people of God, and especially with that, that circumcision thing, because that that comes up again in the Book of Acts when Peter and Paul, you know, are they getting all these new Christians uh, that didn't have um, didn't have the Jewish upbringing. They came from a Gentile background, so they didn't have the Jewish upbringing of um, of like Peter and Paul. And so, no, they aren't circumcised. They haven't gone through baits of fire and all the other baits. I can't remember what they're called. But there's three levels that you have to go through. Bait and switch. Yep. Yeah. And uh, they have they have to go through all three levels and potentially become a rabbi if they don't, and they follow in the trade of their father. But um, so. In Jewish Jewish law, salvation and circumcision are synonymous. It's the same mm. thing. It's mm. like if you're not circumcised, you cannot be saved. So um, it's a big it's a big deal. But um, obviously, the, you know, they came. The first ruling of the church of Saint Peter was this: it doesn't you don't need to be circumcised. And you know, you got to think where did they get these laws from? Mm. You know, and like, and I may be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure it's the Ten Commandments is the original. Mm-hmm. And then from there, trying to understand the Ten Commandments, trying to make them practical, and they make 365 other laws, which, yeah. you know, comes into don't wear two types of material together or whatever it is. Yeah, exactly. But on the whole, from reading through a few of the statements in the law, most of them are about distinguishing the Israelites from the surrounding nations. And that was what God was trying to do in those days, was really trying to find like a national yeah. identity as the people oh. of God, the chosen people. Um, hence, things like circumcision, you know, they were, like, who would even think of doing that, you know? It's like, no one's even going to copy you because it's so unique. Which, bring it back to tattoos, a friend of mine once suggested we all got a tattoo of a penguin, and then we'd all be linked together with this tattoo of a penguin. Our own c- kind of, you know... I think everyone would just see the world in black and white. Oh, yeah, I get it. It's, anyway. It's a penguin. Um, but, yeah, so tattoos, okay, so that's one thing, marking your body. And then there's body piercings, right? Mm. So I'm not talking about your regular kind of one on your ear, one on the other ear. It matters if you're a man. But, you know, if like I'm talking about like in your nose, in your eyebrow. Or stretches. Uh, stretches. Oh, man, those things. And then they get like implants where they put like a piece of metal bar underneath their skin and it just raises up a bump. Mm. Anyway, like that. Okay, and then there's smoking as well. Mm. It's uh, these three things are commonly seen as like you're you're rebellious if you if you are a smoker. Um, yes. You know, and, and it's like why is that? Is it? And, yeah. and obviously, there's been a lot of uh, research done in the last however long. I mean, like not that long ago, doctors were recommending cigarettes to their patients um, as oh. you know when they had lung troubles, they would prescribe them cigarettes. Uh, now that doctors know the health yeah. uh, consequences of that, they don't do that. Um, but I think even before then, it was there was kind of a taboo about smoking. And, yeah, I mean, well, if you think of like the the punk rock era, that's like the epitome of what we're talking about. There's, there's oh, the yeah. um, there's the piercings, the tattoos, and the smoking, mm-hmm. and then there's the, the the crazy fashion they wore, and you know, the basically terrible music that they'd play and listen to, and uh, you know that that was all about rebellion. But like mm. three markings of that is the tattoo, the piercings, and the and the smoking, but I mean, the you know as wrong as smoking is, there ha- there is something to be said for it. I mean, something that I've been a little bit envious of my life, of being not smoking, is you know, as a smoker, you get to stop every now and then, five minutes, just go outside mm. and have five minutes to yourself. And it's like doing something, but not. It forces you to take some time yeah. out in the day. Yeah. Even by yourself or with somebody else. Yeah. Um. And this, you see this if you read Lord of the Rings. You know, there's like there's a bit of smoking that goes on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gandalf will uh, have a good old pipe with mm. with Bilbo. Um, but the thing is, I mean, like like you say, there's some great times for conversational, you know, or just taking the time out of the day. Uh, but it can also be exclusive. You know, like if you have if you're addicted to smoking, you have to step outside. Right, you have yeah. to separate yourself. That in itself is kind of. You know, it's kind of see something interesting about what's going on. Mm. Um, 
But, I mean, basically, the, the, the idea behind these three things, tattoos, piercings, and smoking, mm-hmm. is that, I mean, basically, they're permanent. I mean, t- piercings can grow back, right? Yeah, yeah. But with, um, with tattoos, like, obviously, permanent. Um, and smoking has, can have a permanent effect on your health. Yes. Um, and I think a lot of Christians take issue with the fact that the, that the Bible says, you know, your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Um, and therefore, we should do everything that we can to protect it and to be able to live a long and healthy life. Yes, um, yes. It's a creation of God. Yeah, that's right. Um, but that being said, it's like, is it is it then a sin to, you know, if I have a tattoo of Jesus on my arm, mm. is that a sin? Like, is that an unnecessary amount of, like, yeah, what has that done to me? Yes, you know? and I think there's like, there's two ways of looking at things. It's like, there's, uh, you know, God's plan for us. Which I don't think God plans for people to have tattoos, but that's not to say that it's going against His plan, like um, like learning a different language. God might not call you to learn a different language, but if you're interested in languages, um, you'll learn the language, and you know, sure God, I'm sure God will use that. But like, if you get a tattoo, a piercing, or even if you start smoking, I don't think it's a, a, a stamp saying, look, you know, rebelling against God. Mm. Um, however. You do have to have that fine line because I've heard like even even tattoos can be addictive. You get one and then you just keep getting them because it's like right. it becomes an addictive thing. And then all of a sudden you you look at your body not as a creation but as a canvas, hmm. as something that needs improving. That's right. And then 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 you're treading a fine line. Then you're walking on thin ice. And again, you know, same with smoking. It's like there is you know there is that almost beauty of I'm going to stop for five minutes. I've got you know and have a fag. Hmm. Just go outside, have a smoke. An old durry. Have an old durry, uh, but um, but then again, it's like if then your smoking becomes, I need to go outside and have a smoke now. Mm. It's raining outside. It's winding. It's blowing a, a gale, it's and you're winding. like, I need to, winding. The wind is <gasps> in, is going, and um, then it, then it then it becomes less, you know, something mm. nice and something it becomes something bad. Yeah, and the scripture also goes on to kind of talk about how we have to be masters of ourselves and, yes. and masters of our bodies. Therefore, it's like, if you can, like, avoid these things. Um, and, and this goes for anything. It could be gambling. It could be mm-hmm. pornography. Mm-hmm. You know, it could, And it, it also goes with tattooing, smoking, mm-hmm. piercings. Um, ultimately, it's like, we have to give the glory to God. Um, and we don't want to do anything that's going to inhibit us from doing so. Yes. You know? But also with... I mean, things like tattooing, in a really simple, basic sense, like jobs, it's hard to get a job when you have a tattoo that's yeah. really obvious, you know, especially, you know, you might have a picture of your wife in the background and on your back of your head, mm-hmm. um, and, and you may not even know who she is, um, but, or like with, with smoking, you've, you've got to think about, if you're going to have a family, mm-hmm. you know, then you've got to want to you've got to want to like safeguard your health for the future yes um and this is is something i've had to work with as well because i have enjoyed smoking in the past um but it's really it's really important to actually think about those around you right um, think seriously about it and with piercings i mean yeah it's just kind of like for a lot of people i think it's an act of rebellion to get really obvious piercings yes um like why'd you get a piercing oh my mum hates them yes you know it's like, yes. well, that's not a good enough reason to get a piercing. Yes, and like there's a similar point that was made about the the protesting in the last podcast. It's like protesting just to say f you to somebody isn't mm. making any point. You did touch on something. You did mention uh, like pornography, and I think this is time for another podcast. But like, I wouldn't put these on the same level as uh, smoking, mm. tattoos, and piercings because that's a completely different issue. Yeah, I'd agree, but. That's for another podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did you think of the tea today? Man, this is delicious. And you know what? Today. With uh, some white white chocolate macadamia nut no, um, cookies. Can't go wrong. Amazing. Go to T2, Goa, and get yourself some Go Go Goa. And try something new. <laughs> we will see you next week for another episode. Uh, until then, keep it cool, keep it green, keep it Catholic. God bless. God bless. Hey guys, thanks for listening to the podcast. We hope you're enjoying it. We're certainly enjoying making it. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Auckland Catholic Tertiary Chaplaincy. 
Also, follow us on Facebook at Facebook forward slash The Chaplain. Where you can find us on Instagram at Auckland Catholic Chaplaincy. We also have a webpage, www.newmanhall.org.nz. If you're going to be online, make sure that you like, you share, and comment in the box, maybe if you have some extra stuff to add to the conversation. Thanks. God bless.